Rochester, Minnesota is where we're going to start. Andy is there. Andy, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken. Thanks for having me on the show today. You How are bet. you doing? I am living the dream, man. What's going on? Hey, quick question for you. So what do you do if you're the kind of person who likes all the jobs that you've had? Um, and I currently like the job that I have, but I've never really been fulfilled by any of them. Hmm. Um, I'm currently a nurse, which you'd think is a real fulfilling job. And in a lot of ways it is. Yeah. I like what I do. Um, but I sometimes find myself thinking that there's something out there that's more in line with my passions and strengths. Okay. Uh, I thought of going back to school and that idea excites me to be a nurse practitioner. Okay. And I think that there are areas that NPs practice that would be fulfilling, but it's kind of a big investment to lay down that money to go to school. And I, I, you know, since I've never had a job where I've been fulfilled, I'm a little worried that, you know, laying down that money just for another job may not really be worth it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think you're scared. I think you're scared that you're going to send, you know, spend time and money on something that you find yeah. out is mm, doesn't have the juice, and that's what's scaring you. And I think that's yeah. normal. Um, but I'm going to challenge you a little bit here. You said you've never been in a job that that has been fulfilling, and and yet a sentence later you said there are parts of being a nurse that are fulfilling. So yeah. there's a conundrum there that's going on, and I want to dig into that. What are the parts of being a nurse that are fulfilling for you and have been? You know, I really like just the real human-to-human -human interaction where you really get down on somebody's level um, and really kind of understand where they're coming from. Uh, I also really have a passion for kind of that end-of-life kind of care. Mm -hmm. So when you have been a nurse for a patient that is uh, obviously in their last days, yeah, that's way more fulfilling for you. And what parts of, of the interaction are fulfilling? Be more specific. I understand what you say when you really enjoy the human to human interaction. So it's less about the medicine and more about the, the, the conversation and the moments that you have with them. Is that what it is? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anything else that's on the list of this is very fulfilling for me as a nurse? Um, the education part of nursing, when you're teaching a, a concept and then you see the light bulb click, I think that's a really fulfilling part of my job too. Where, what, tell me how that, uh, what, what does that look like? Is that just where you've got young nurses or, or new nurses rather that are, that are coming on board and because you have your superior, I mean, not superior, good grief, your, um, what is the yeah. word I'm looking for? I, I just blanked out, but because you're higher up the food chart, you've got more experience than you're training them. Is that what we're talking about? Well, more like, like educating the patient, you know, like this is what heart disease looks oh, like. Oh, educating the patient. Change. Yeah, yeah. I to... get, I get it. Um, okay, so here's the deal. Were you confused? Were you contradicting yourself? Or are you just not looking at this thing properly? That there are parts of nursing that you have been very fulfilled in. It's just not uh, a high percentage all day, every day over the body of your career, Correct. Yeah, that's that's correct. Yeah, that's the issue. So, if you're going to be a nurse practitioner, the question becomes: Does it allow you to do more of what we just talked about, instructing and guiding and educating the patient, and more human to human interaction? Does it allow you to do more of that? Uh, let's just say you're doing it 95 percent of the time or 90 percent of the time. Does it allow you to do that? I think it probably. 60% of the time. What's the other 40 involved with? I think there's a lot of uh, red tape paperwork kind of stuff that, that gets involved there too. And that's kind of, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go back real like, quick, just for some side-by-side -side yeah. comparison. When you, as a nurse, if you look at your, the body of your career, you look back on it. Yeah. What's the percentage of your time that you've spent doing those two things that you love, the human to human interaction and the guiding and teaching the patient? That's a good question. Yeah, you know, um, I know. <laughs> you're good at this. I would say uh, probably similar, probably 60, 65 percent, somewhere in, somewhere in there. So I'm asking a legit question here. I'm not being coy and I'm not trying to be cute. Yeah. That feels like you've been pretty fulfilled. Yeah. Am I right or am I wrong? I mean, I'm, I'm truly asking here based on what you've told me. What, what's missing? Is there a nurse yeah. practitioner role or nurse role where you don't have to do paperwork? No, I wish, but no. Okay, then. So that's the price of admission. Yeah. You do know that I have to do some things that I'm not crazy about in order to get to be on the air for several hours a day. You do get oh, that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm um, again, 
feels like to me that being a nurse practitioner is going to allow you to do more. I know you had it at about 60%, but I feel like as the nurse, you're not called upon to do as much educating, whereas the nurse practitioner, uh, I mean, that's a step up. That's like closer to a doctor, correct? Yeah, that's true. What do you think now? You just walk through it. All I've been is a mirror or a, I've been a sounding board. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. I think that that there definitely is going to be a lot more of, or more of the things that I like to do, more of the educating, more of the, um, you know, seeing that connection, that human to human interaction. I think I think there probably is more of that. Uh, so is it worth going to school to be a nurse practitioner? Yeah, I think it is. Is that what you want to do with your life? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I think you just have to get to a point where you realize there's something the way that you've been looking at this and you've been looking at it just slightly from the wrong angle. I don't think you're looking at it incorrectly. I just think you've got the wrong angle. And I feel yeah. like what we've done is we've shifted you over, if you will. And when you see it from the angle of how many of us in our dream job still have to do certain things that, you know, are not like crazy fulfilling. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, if it's the majority of what I'm doing every day is really fulfilling, then that's why we do what we do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I do. You know, I mean, just let me just be very, very candid. I love, uh, I love being an author, but the process of writing for me is not my favorite thing to do. Not even close. It's hard work. And it doesn't come as easy to me as it does if I'm on the air or on a mic and things of that nature. You know, there's research. I'm not a big fan of research. I have to do a lot of research. I don't enjoy it, but it's necessary. Do you, do you track with me here? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I do. So don't overthink it, man. You are in your happy place when you're in front of a patient, interacting and educating them on their health. Am I right or am I wrong? No, totally right. All right, then. So stop overthinking it and go do it. You're a good man, Andy.